Natural Nini. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing my iPad 9, giving my first impressions, and I'm also going to be comparing my new iPad to my previous iPad, which was the iPad Mini 2. So I am specifically using my new iPad 9 to edit my YouTube videos, which I have not done so yet only because I have a lot of songs and music that I use in my videos and with me editing on my phone all of those songs is on my phone so I have not had the time to transfer the songs over just yet however I will and I will start editing on my iPad so without further ado let's just go ahead and get started with this video this is my iPad 9. I do have it in a case because I have to keep my new baby protected. And I really love this case as well because of the transparent back. Um, I probably will end up ordering the other color in this case from Amazon only because I just love to see my iPad through the transparent back. So this is my iPad and this is the inside of the case and this is also my pretty wallpaper that i have on my ipad as well and i also have an apple pencil alternative which i got from amazon so i really love this apple pencil alternative which is um honestly just a stylus pen i honestly really really love it it is similar to the apple pencil um, the only thing I really have to do to pretty much work this thing um, is just press the button that's right there at the top and then you hold it for at least about five seconds and then it pops up a green indicator light to show you that it is on now while you are using these stylus it does show blue and then when you charge it it does show red however once it is fully charged it does go back to green so i really really love this apple pencil alternative and i'm mainly using my ipad to edit however i have not done so yet which i told y'all in my intro and i will also be doing a what's on my ipad 9 coming on friday i also have a paper like screen protector on my ipad as well i really did not want to get like the glass kind only because i have had my share of glass screen protectors in the past with my phone so i decided to get a paper like screen protector only because i do not like the glass ones like they don't stick that well and they cause like too many bubbles on your actual um electronic product so that's why I decided to get the paper like screen protector. But I honestly really, 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 really um, love my iPad 9. I did get it for Christmas. So I got this on December 25th and today is January 9th. So I've had it for at least two weeks now. And I honestly really, really love it. Like I said, I have not edited any videos on it yet, but once I get all of my music transferred over here, I will definitely start editing on my iPad. But I really love this iPad. It is very compact. It's very small, lightweight, easy to carry um easy to hold and i just honestly really really love it so i'm gonna take it out the case um so you guys can get an up close view of the ipad and the color of it is space gray i did want the silver one but with the front color of the ipad being black the space gray on the back looks even better um, so this is the iPad 9, very, very slim and elegant. And I just honestly really, really, really love it. And it also has a magnetic place on the side to hold your Apple Pencil or your Apple Pencil alternative. So I honestly don't really use the magnetic side that much only because I always have my iPad in a case. 
however i do think the feature is really really cool so if you're the type of person to not really care for a case but you want like an apple pencil or an alternative stylus you can definitely um just pretty much attach it to the side with the magnetic um hold honestly um because that's pretty much what it is like it's just a magnetic place um to pretty much put your apple pencil but i really love having that there although i probably won't really use my ipad outside of the case but i do love the magnetic hold for the apple pencil or the stylus um so one of my first impressions of this ipad is definitely the thinness um i really love the fact that this ipad is really really thin um before this ipad i previously owned three ipads the first one i had was like the really really old ipad might have been the first ipad that ever came out and then i got um another ipad before the ipad mini 2. so i have had three ipads before this one and this one obviously is my favorite because it is the newest and the most up-to-date ipad but i really do love this ipad though because of the thinness um and of course on the side you do have the volume up volume down button at the top you do have the power button and i think this right here might be a speaker i'm not for sure and then of course right here you do have the headphone jack and then on the bottom you have the charging port and then you also have the main speakers of the ipad on the bottom as well and then of course you do have the apple logo on the back with the camera on the back as well and then on the front you do have the front facing camera for a selfie and you also have the home button which is actually um fingerprint which i really really like because on my iphone 5s and iphone 7 plus that's where i um got used to the fingerprint so i definitely love having like the fingerprint feature right there so pretty much um that's pretty much it for like the look of the actual ipad now moving on to the actual features on the iPad. Uh, my iPad is up to date with iOS 15. Um, I did receive the iOS 16 update, but I have not installed it yet, only because I wanted to do this video first. So my first impressions of this iPad, honestly, it pretty much is kind of like the same update as my iPhone um, because I think my iPhone is up to date on iOS 15 as well. Um, so it pretty much has like the same features of um, my iPhone. Like it has the widget, um, I don't know what you really call it, I guess like the widget screen or that was not really the dashboard, I guess widget screen is pretty much what it's called. Um, and I have this exact same setup on my iPhone as well. So I really do like that feature. You can pretty much just slide over and see um, what battery percentage your iPad is. And it also shows you screen time as well. So it pretty much documents how much time you spend on your iPad, which I really, really love. I really have not spent that much time on my iPad yet, um, but I have been setting it up and pretty much just keeping it in check and keeping the battery um, pretty much above 50. Um, so I really not have, I really haven't used my iPad that much, but I do love like the widget screen. I have not added any more widgets on here, um, but that's pretty much my first impression or one of my first impressions of this iPad. And another one of my um, impressions of this iPad is really like the smoothness of to pretty much glide from side to side on the screen, um, which is pretty self-explanatory, but it is a lot different though, because this iPad is definitely bigger than the previous iPad that I had. Um, oh, and the screen size of this iPad is also 10.2 inches. So that's another great first impression um, because I think 
my old iPad screen size. I don't even know what the screen size of this old iPad really is, but it is definitely a lot bigger than this one, and I will get to the comparison in a minute. Um, but another first impression of this iPad. Um, let me see. Let me go into notes really, really quickly. And I do not want to spoil any future video ideas. So one other um, first impression that I have noticed. And I have drawn um, Buttercup from the Powerpuff Girls in notes, which I think I did a pretty good job. She is my favorite Powerpuff Girl. Um, but one other first impression of this iPad, if you guys can tell right there at the top in the middle um, under the camera, there are three little dots right there. So if you pretty much slide down on it, you can pretty much split your screen, which is really, really neat. I actually need to go into a second app. I um, think I'm gonna go into YouTube. So I think this here is really, really cool. So you can literally have two apps open at the same time. You can literally be doing two things at once. So I could really be on here watching one of my videos. So I can literally be on here, you know, watching one of my YouTube videos while also maybe writing notes, planning out videos, pretty much doing something else on my iPad. So I really think this right here is one cool feature, which I probably won't use that much because I don't really think I could multitask like that on my iPad. But I do think that is a very, very cool feature to have um, if you want to multitask or basically do two things on your iPad at once. A couple of other first impressions slash features that I forgot to mention was the control center right here in the corner. So if you're pretty much just slide now where like um, your battery percentage is, you can pretty much slide down and you can see all of these controls. This is actually called the control center on the iPad. So I really, really, really like this feature a lot, which is the same feature on my phone, which is probably why I forgot to mention it. Um, but you can pretty much slide down and control any of these controls on your iPad instead of going all the way into settings to do so. Like for example, the brightness to put your, um, iPad on like airplane mode, airdrop, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, um, lock rotation, and also to get to like the camera app, I think that icon right there is notes or reminders. Um, and then also like a timer, um, the brightness, the volume, and if you're playing music, you can come up here, stop the song, um, skip it, whatever you want to do with it. Um, so I really think that itself is a cool feature and then hold on let me put my ipad back in my case before i drop it because that is the last thing i want to do with this ipad is drop it so another cool feature um on this ipad is kind of the same feature that's on my iphone as well um i can pretty much swipe over here to the third page and the launch pad pretty much appears. This is like kind of like the same thing that's on my computer, except for on my iPad, it pretty much just like separates and pretty much organizes my iPad for me. Um, it pretty much puts all of the apps that I have on here in like a folder. And you guys can get a little sneak peek, a little glimpse of um, what's on my iPad, the few little apps that I do have. And I can also click here in the app library and pretty much just like scroll through any, well not really any, but all of the apps that is pretty much on my iPad, which like I said, it's not a lot. Um, so I can pretty much do this on my phone as well, but I think this is a really cool feature to have on the iPad. So like I've said plenty of times, I really, really love this iPad. And it's not really a whole lot of new features on here um, 
to really get used to that I'm not already used to because half of these features on here I already have on my iPhone 11 so it's not really anything new um it is just a little bit different having it on my iPad like I said the update itself is pretty similar to the update that I have on my phone so not much has really changed but I really really love having this iPad this is my old iPad right here. This is the iPad mini 2 and the color of this iPad is silver and the other iPad before I had before this one was also silver. So I think that's kind of why I wanted this iPad in silver as well. But I actually love the space gray color of this iPad. So first off the bat, as you can tell, the size of these iPads are very, very different. Um, the size of this one is 10.2, and I'm not for sure what the size of this one is. Um, I will look it up and put it on the screen. But as you can tell, there is a big size difference. Put it side by side, you can definitely tell that this one is obviously bigger. So I think that alone is a huge upgrade for me. So now that I have this iPad, I will definitely start editing videos once I transfer all of my music. But as you can tell, even the screen size is different and bigger. Um, this right here is just like a regular home button. Whereas on this iPad, you do have the Touch ID um, fingerprint to get in. Um, now, I will say, I would probably have to say the thinness or the slimness of these iPads are actually the same. It actually is the same in width. Um, I really do think it is the same size in width. They both have that same slimness. Uh, but obviously the screen size is the big upgrade the big difference in this comparison is definitely the screen size this ipad right now is dead um because i obviously have not used it since i've gotten my new ipad um but the screen size is definitely a big improvement um, like I said, I don't really know the screen size of the iPad mini 2, but I will look it up and put it on the screen. But the screen size is definitely a big upgrade. I really love the screen size. Um, so pretty much with this new iPad, I have been loving it. Have not touched this iPad, maybe except for like a couple of times um, ever since I got my new one. But I definitely love this new one. It is definitely an upgrade from my old one. A big upgrade because the other one does not have the magnetic side or the finger or the um, touch ID. Um, it does have a headphone jack power button. This one does have a mute button and this one does not, um, which is probably the only downside to this one. I think none of the new iPads have a mute button. Um, so whenever I want to like, not hear the ipad click on and off like every time i charge it or something maybe that's like a thing in settings i don't really know but this ipad here does have a mute button right there and this ipad does not which that's not really like a big deal breaker for me um it's just something that i've been used to with this ipad however i do love this new ipad right here and like I've been saying repeatedly, this is definitely a big, huge upgrade from my old iPad. And I just really, really love my iPad 9. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share my channel. And help me reach my goal of 1,700 subscribers. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.